family, friends, good food, and lack of presents makes Thanksgiving the greatest holiday on the calendar. But what if instead of loved ones to share it with, you had bupkis? I talked to relationship and wellness expert Tara Antler on what to do this Thanksgiving if nobody loves you. Why do lonely people hate Thanksgiving? I think that lonely people, they don't like Thanksgiving because they have no one to share it with. Do you have any ideas for that one thing to make that holiday suck less? I have this saying called flip the, and I, I probably won't swear on camera, but. No, you, you must. Flip the shit. To play on flip the switch? Yeah, kinda. What if I just tried on having a positive attitude? This, this Thanksgiving's gonna rock. It's gonna be totally awesome. Can I run some of my ideas by you to make yeah. this holiday suck less? Yeah, yeah, totally. Volunteer. It's boring, mm -hmm. but at least you could see other people's lives are, you know, more miserable than yours. Be productive. Go to work and just pretend that everyone is sick. There's a good one. That's pretty cool. I would I... flip it around though and pretend that everybody's healthy. Then wouldn't they be at work? Remember better times in your apartment alone. I like the imagination train. So imagine that you're actually in your apartment with people. What do you call your imagination train? Just your imagination. Well, that's not really using your imagination. Well, you can call it whatever you'd like. The dragonfly. Perfect. <laughs> I couldn't thank Tara enough for her help, but there was one more thing I had to know. Is it true you can communicate with the dead? I can. Can you make a Thanksgiving wish of mine to my grandpa and Nunu happen? You just make it happen. Okay. Just have a little chat. Call them in. Hello? Hello? It's Paul. <laughs> I hope you have a good Thanksgiving. Hello? <laughs> well, thank you, witch. You're welcome. What an amazing gift. For the Late O'Clock News, I'm Paul Lemieux.